Hello Grade 11s. In this lesson, we will look at the converse of the tan core theorem and do examination style questions. Remember, the tan core theorem stated, the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle the chord subtends in the alternate segment. We now cross over to John and Kanya to put this theorem into practice. Given the circle with tangent OQR at Q, calculate the values of angles I, J, and K. You could start with any of these angles, but usually they are listed in the order that is easiest to find. So it is likely that if we find the value of angle I, this will help us to find J and then K. So let's start with angle I. That is easy. 121 degrees plus 19 degrees plus angle I equals 180 degrees because OQR is a straight line. Therefore, I equals 40 degrees. Now look for what you know about angle J. Can you calculate J? Did you see that angle J is the angle in the alternate segment to angle TQR? And we already know that angle TQR is 121 degrees. So J is 121 degrees. The reason used is simply 10 chord theorem. Lastly, look at angle K. There are a few ways to calculate K. You can use the sum of the angles of a triangle, or you can use angle I equal to angle K because of the 10 chord theorem. Whichever way you use, you should get K equal to 40 degrees. John has prepared another problem for us to follow. Let's go back to him now. In the figure, TP and TS are tangents to the given circle. R is a point on the circumference. Q is a point on PR such that Q1 equals P1. SQ is drawn. Let P1 equal X. The first question is, Prove that TQ is parallel to SR. Usually, the first part of the question is the easiest part. So don't look for something complicated. How can we prove lines are parallel, Kanye? You need to find alternate angles that are equal, or corresponding angles that are equal, or co-interior angles that are supplementary. Yes, let's look at the diagram. It makes sense to start from the angle that was given as X, as it is the only labeled angle. Is there another angle equal to this one? Here's a tip. Remember, angle X is the angle between the tangent PT and the chord PS. If we use the tangent chord theorem, we know that the angle in the alternate segment is equal to this angle. So we get X equal to angle R. Correct. This is useful to us. We are given angle Q1 equal to X already. So we have angle Q1 equal to angle R. Do you recognize what kind of angles these are? Yeah, boy, yes. They are corresponding angles on the lines TQ and SR. What does that tell us? TQ must be parallel to SR. Problem solved. Spot on, Kanye. You may have found another way to prove the lines are parallel, and that's great. Just remember to look for the simplest answers first. Yes, sometimes I make things more complicated than they need to be. Moving on to the next two parts of the question. And remember, you will probably need to use the fact that TQ is parallel to SR. The question is, prove that QPTS is a cyclic quad and prove that TQ bisects angle SQP. Keep in mind what is given. Um, we have two tangents, TP and TS. Oh, and Q1 is equal to P1. To prove that QPTS is cyclic, you have several options. 
Will it work to find angles in the same segment that are equal? Or to get opposite angles supplementary? Or to get the external angle Q3 equal to the internal opposite angle? How do I know which option to go for? Because we've already worked with angle X, it is likely that we'll use it again. It also makes sense to try to get angle X equal to angle Q2 so that we can use angles in the same segment as our reason for the quad to be cyclic. Have you figured it out? If not, let me give you a hint. What do you know about the tangents TP and TS? Use them to find equal angles. Of course. TP equals TS because tangents from a point outside the circle are equal. Yes, that means angle X equals angle S1 in the isosceles triangle TPS. But we already have angle X equal to angle Q1. So that means Q1 equals S1. Have a look at these two angles in the diagram. Do you see how they sit inside the bow tie shape? They are angles in the same segment subtended by PT. That means that QPTS must be a cyclic quad. Cool. That takes care of the second part of the question. Now let's do the last part. Prove that TQ bisects SQP. It's easy to do if you use the fact that QPTS is cyclic. Because angle X equals angle Q2 because they are angles in the same segment. And we already know that X also equals Q1. So that means Q1 equals QT. And so TQ bisects angle SQP. Excellent, Kanye. Did you notice how we use the angle labeled with X over and over again? It was given this label specifically as a hint that it is important in all your answers. Thank you, John, for that important tip. If an angle is labeled with a variable, we must take careful note of this and use it to solve the question. The converse of the tan court theorem must be known in order to prove that a line is a tangent. The statement is, if a line through the end point of a circle forms an angle with the chord which is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, then the line is a tangent to the circle. The accepted abbreviation is angle between line and chord equals angle in the alternate segment. Let's do an example of how we would prove a line is a tangent. AB, AD and BD are chords of the circle. AB is extended to C. CDE is a line. If AD equals AB, angle A is equal to 20 degrees and angle C is equal to 60 degrees. Prove that CDE is a tangent to the circle. Let's start by marking the equal sides of the triangle. Did you notice that this is an isosceles triangle? We can easily calculate the size of the two base angles. Let's continue. B1 and D2 are both 80 degrees. Using the axiom that angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees, we calculate angle B2 to be 100 degrees. We can calculate that angle D1 is 20 degrees using angles in a triangle and notice that angle D1 is equal to angle A. This then completes our proof, and we state that the line CDE is a tangent because the angle between the line and chord equals the angle in the alternate segment. Remember to do the questions in the task video at the end of this section. You will also be able to learn more about circle geometry on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s.